Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is always a great honor and also a great pleasure to speak at UKIP conferences. And today, I would like to congratulate you to your victory in the past European Parliament election. It's, it's wonderful to see how your party has grown. And it is, of course, your great leader, Nigel Farage, who led you to this success. And I must say that Nigel has been a role model, a model politician for us in the Czech Republic. When I established the Free Citizens Party five years ago, Nigel's speeches became very popular in the Czech Republic because we translated the videos to the Czech language so that everyone in the Czech Republic could see that there can still be common sense in politics. <laughs> Nigel Farage and UKIP gave us hope and showed us the way. Thank you for that. You had invited me in recent years as leader of the Free Citizens Party because you had found that we shared common political ideas. We both believe in individual freedom, limited government, and the national sovereignty. We, but today, it's a little bit different, at least for me, because this year, I was, for the very first time, elected to the European Parliament. <laughs> which happened five years after the establishment of my party. And therefore, I'm standing here before you as not only as someone who shares ideas with you, but also as an elected representative of our common ideas and of my libertarian voters in the Czech Republic. And fortunately, fortunately, I am not the only one. I am happy that the ideas of individual freedom, national sovereignty, are on the rise everywhere in Europe. Your party and my political, my political party both want our countries to leave the European Union because, of course, of course, because we know that simply democracy cannot work on, supranational, on a supranational level. And we don't want others, other countries to, um, to impose regulation and taxes on us and so on. And we hate all these stupid European Union's policies on energy, on taxation, on immigration and so on. And now I am coming to the main point of my short speech. I, I am persuaded, I am, I am convinced that leaving the EU is a necessary condition for our future prosperity, but it's only a necessary condition, not a sufficient one. In order to deliver prosperity, we, as I believe, must do two tasks. One, obviously, 
is to leave the European Union so that we in the Czech Republic and you in Britain can decide on, on yourself. But the second task is to insist firmly on the ideas of individual freedom. We believe that each individual knows best what is good for him or for her. And therefore, we must not forget that regulation from above is no good whether it comes from Brussels or from London or Glasgow or Prague or whatever. We must not forget that high taxes, subsidies and overregulation is bad whatever they come from. And I believe that our task is not only to bring back sovereignty to our peoples, but also to persuade voters and majority, the majority of voters that regulation and I would say socialism only brings woes and that people just deserve freedom to decide on themselves. Therefore, we can criticize the EU for setting uh, minimum rates of, let's say, value-added tax or beer tax or fuel tax, but we must, aware, we must be aware of the fact that both in Britain and in the Czech Republic, the actual rates are much higher than these requirements set by the European Union. We also see that, or we criticize the EU for its propaganda in individual countries, states of the, of the EU, but mainly uh, in Ireland before the second referendum on the Lisbon Treaty where the EU misused lots of taxpayers' money. But similar things happen on a national level as well. In the Czech Republic, we have a state TV and state radios. You have BBC in your country. And according to my opinion, governments should not run corporations. Governments should not do business. I think that doing business is the business of individual people. I wish... I wish you power to your elbow, and I wish you success in the forthcoming election to the House of Commons, and hopefully in a promised referendum on the EU membership. And I am happy that we can work together, whether it is on the European Union level or after the EU, uh, as two independent nations on common ideas of individual freedom and national sovereignty. Thank you very much.